Hi there and welcome back to Japan. And this is a song that actually a lot of people have been asking for for a while. Bish is one of the uh, artists who we've, uh, well, I've reviewed on this channel a few times, done a few reactions to their songs. I've been really interested to listen to, actually listen to three of their songs. Um, they've ranged from the sort of crazy energetic to the slightly more weird to uh, one of the best just straight stereotypical J-pop songs I've ever heard in my life. You know, just totally straight J-pop but really amazingly fantastically delivered. Um, and this, they, they build themselves as the anti-idol group, which makes it interesting. I've heard that a lot of their more recent material kind of has calmed down on that and they've just become a bit more straight pop. But, you know, I might be off of it. Anyway, um, a lot of people have given me directions to go with Bish, so I have got more Bish videos coming, but Stereo Futures want to keep on hearing about that. And it's one of I queued up even before you guys mentioned it just because it looked interesting. So finally, here we are, bitch, Stereo Future, guys, thank you so much as always, you know how it works, comment and keep involved, because if you guys are talking about these bitch videos and watching them, I'll post more of them. Well, I will anyway, but I'll post them quicker. Drama. Oh, it's very dramatic. Staccato violins, black and white, angry facial expressions. Nice little pre chorus thing. I'm really liking this melody, so let's see where the chorus goes. There's a lot to be said about that chorus, but it's certainly not bad. I'll come to that in more detail later. I've just noticed, by the way, I'm swiveling on my swivel chair too much, and they're wearing armor so much. Just, just take it. Again, pleasingly emotive choreography. I'm not a big choreography fan usually, but I've noticed that theirs is kind of more like acting choreography, which you guys mentioned that they actually choreograph themselves, the one girl does. So great stuff. You've got a bridge and a last chorus to go. How do you give more drama than you've already got? Will they go for a breakdown or will they just ramp it up?
as usual, Japanese videos, they don't finish at the end. What's, what are you going to do with the last 10 seconds? Avex. Should have known it. Avex. Sticking your name everywhere, why don't you? <sighs> All right. Before I get in more trouble for slagging off record companies. Yeah, um, there's a lot to be said about that one. Uh, most of it very good. Um, the, the start with the song, first of all. The song was fantastic, really overdramatic. This is something that um, Japanese pop has a habit of sometimes doing. Some artists do these really dramatic cinematic ones in a sort of a, a slightly stereotypical cinematic way, you know, with the strings and the little staccato bits. But there was some, again, there was some really nice detail to that that stood, you know, made it stand above what it could have been otherwise. Um, especially at the end, I noticed right towards the end when the final chorus had ended, you had the, the chords playing out, the beat and the bass and everything and the staccato um, strings. But you also had like a more of a held... Um, string sound underneath as well i can't remember what the name is for that but just sort of drawn out string chords underneath that really helped add to the depth and there was a lot of effort put into the arrangement of that which is why it felt genuinely dramatic um i really love that actually i should say i love the writing i love the chord progression i love the melody i really enjoyed that now when the first chorus came in i got it the chorus didn't take me straight away it took a few listens and at the end i was enjoying it much more um I, I'm i a bit of a chordy sort of person. I think this might be a personal preference. Things that stick to, if you have a certain chord just holding too long, for me that can get a little bit dull. Um, so they did that thing where the, the chord comes in and then the bass stays on the same note, but the other things move around it, which means to the ear it kind of feels like the same chord but slightly adjusting. Um, I, I'll leave it up to you how you want uh, how you want to see that. But I would say it was kind of like the same chord um, so like a three chord chorus. Anyway, let's keep, get out of the details and get to the basics, which is I kind of felt like the chorus was a little bit underwhelming musically. But then when we got to the last one and there'd been such of a build up, so much build up in the melody, it kind of felt more like it, rather than a musical thing, like a release of energy, just sort of like the um, blasting into that long, uh, long sort of stretched out chord chorus. So yeah, um, uh, like I said, I don't want to bog it down with too much musical stuff that could just be my personal taste, but the chorus, at the first time I hear it, it lacked wow factor, but by the last time of hearing it, I quite enjoyed it, and I get the feeling if I hear that song a few more times, I'll probably be singing it. So, um, yeah, I can't really criticise that, just say that it's maybe not... This is one of those songs that probably takes a few listens to really, really get the full um, joy out of it that I think it deserves. But like I said, the arrangement just clearly showed how much power it had to it. Now, as for the video, I'm I'm not a big fan of expressing drama in black and white. I tend to find black and white is a bit of an overrated medium. It can be fantastic in context, but sometimes not. This, however, I thought was really good, and I think the black and white helped quite a lot. I was kind of thinking myself, I, I would have said that it would have been interesting if the performance bit had been done, done in colour, because it had all of the lights in the background and so much going on, and then the other sort of stuff being done in black and white, that would have probably made a nice contrast, but... I don't know, maybe that wouldn't have looked so good. They went for the whole thing of having it all in black and white and then in the end turning it in colour. So again, just a style choice. Um, yeah, there's not much I can criticise about this other than you know just my own personal opinions. And in my own personal opinion, I'd say it's a fantastic song. Very dramatic. Maybe could have benefited by starting a little bit lighter and ramping its way up to what it eventually became. You know, a bit more of a crescendo. But, you know, I can't criticise that because, like I say, I still enjoyed it for what it was. Um... Yeah, a lot of great things about that. It doesn't, again, doesn't exactly stand by this uh, this concept of Bish being an anti-idol group. Um, I think the anti in their idol is more in their general catalogue that they are open to doing so many more things. Probably because from what I've heard from you guys, and always keep the comments going, I, I don't do my research. I love you guys to tell me as I keep on telling you. I keep on saying. Um as you guys were saying, they seem to have more creative control over what they do. I don't know if they really are writers. I suspect they've got staff writers. But, you know, things like the choreography, which is a really interesting part of it. Like I so said, I'm not big into choreography. I don't really give two squirts of piss about it, usually. But um, when you see, like of anything, even if you're not interested in something, when you see a really good example of it and it stands out to you as an uninterested person, that makes you more interested. So, like I so said, although choreography is not something I usually care about, it's so clearly part of the video in their songs and it's so well performed and it gives a sort of acted feel to it that it elevated this um, quite nicely. So, there's a lot of things that are really good about this and I'm looking forward to hearing more Biff. Once again, it's another example that now four songs in, every Biff song I've heard has been totally different. That's great. I love that surprise when you put on an artist and you just don't know what to expect that 
that's that makes music much more interesting. Uh, there are some uh, artists where you put it on, you immediately know what to expect, and they just please you with a good song. But uh, you know, personally, if someone is doing reviews. It's always nice to be set a little bit of a surprise. So yeah, that was fantastic. Much more dramatic than I'd normally expect from a pop song, but carried it off with a good, genuine sense of a song that knew what it was doing and was doing it genuinely, not just sort of um, playing around with a style that it couldn't actually pull off. So anyway, that was Bish, Stereo Future. I do have more Bish coming up, and you guys have given me some recommendations to look at some of the earlier stuff in their catalogue. I actually don't remember if this is an earlier or a later song, but you guys said the earlier stuff more experimental, so I'm interested to check that out as well. Anyway, for now, from Japan, of course, ciao, ciao, and feel free to come back and check any of the other videos. Like I say, there's already a lot to check in the back catalogue. Who knows what you'll find from Japan. Ciao for now.